Chris Christie, Mitt Romney, those are two Republicans and two Republicans who have largely and publicly criticized the former president, Donald Trump. Do you think that if, let's say, that is an alternative, a third party or alternative rather, would that help Biden or would that help Trump? The great parlor guessing game in Washington is just that question. Who is it helping? Who is it hurt? It ha it, if it actually kicks in and it's a big deal, like big deal meaning they get, say, 20 percent of the national vote or more and are somewhat competitive in a couple of states, uh, we've never seen that. OK, you can go to back to Ross Perot. Ross Perot at his height actually threatened the monopoly of Republican and Democrat control of the process. And then he faded away by the end. If there's actually kind of some power behind the third party movement, this will have an impact. I'm telling you, it's going to have an impact, especially you look at states like Wisconsin. That's right now, it will always be like a two, three, four point margin head to head. But you put two or three or four people in, who knows? And then there's something else to consider. Everything you see, Brittany, out there, all the polling and everything you and I and everyone else is feeling uh, says this is a change election. It's a change election. The right wrong direction is decidedly wrong direction. The last polls show upwards of 70 percent, seven out of 10 Americans think we're headed down the wrong path. That and the president's, of course, numbers is uh, disapproval numbers are at near record levels. This is a change election. But what happens if you have more than one change alternative? to the status quo, looking at Biden as uh, Joe Biden as the status quo, don't know. And that's where, you know, I can spin a very, very good scenario for you about how that would help uh, Donald Trump and a compelling scenario uh, and kind of mathematical equation about why it might actually help the president. All I can tell you, everyone's nervous. All the Republican and Democratic poobas, they're nervous as heck. This is something that they, they don't know basically how to control or even assess. And so you're going to see attacks at the third. If no labels becomes credible here. You're going to see attacks from both Republicans and Democrats, supporters of Democrats and Republicans going right at no labels because they want to take the X factor out of play early if they can. I'm just not sure they can do it when Americans and the mood of America is the way it is now.